So we all know about those yearly physicals we're supposed to get, right? A few tests, some questions, maybe some blood work, and then you're right on your way. But what if your regular checkups involved a full body scan that could detect things like tumors or cancers in the earliest stages? Well, we got a firsthand look at some of that new technology, and here's what it looks like. If you've heard of Pernuvo, chances are it's because it's come across your social media feed. The full body scans, all the rage among the influencer crowd. I just want to see if there's anything wrong inside my body. Seemingly healthy people wanting to take a look inside themselves to see if anything's amiss. But at Pernuvo, the on-demand MRIs and image analysis aren't about curiosity. It's about rethinking health care. We're asking sort of profoundly different questions about how we want our health system to be. Hello. We'll get into all that in a minute, but first, we got to give it a shot. I signed in, suited up, and did a metal yep. check. Yeah, all let's right, take so off your mic. Microphone. Thank you. Then it was time to try to get comfortable, get covered from head to toe, right. and prepare to be scanned, which can be a long 45 minutes. Just checking in. Still doing okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's stressful in here. Oh, freedom! After the scan, we chatted with Andrew Lacey, the founder and CEO of Pernuvo and he shared his vision for the future of healthcare. I believe in a future where in 20 years time, everyone will be getting scans and comprehensive blood tests every year. And we'll look back at the way we do medicine today and we'll think of it as barbaric. Scanning tens of thousands of patients a year yields massive amounts of data, a powerful tool that might just be able to predict societal level health problems, like what phone use is doing to our body. When we showed the average spine image of someone in their 20s to our radiologist and asked them to guess the age of that patient, they would say mid-30s, early 40s. We believe that we are uncovering this future epidemic in spinal problems. Last summer, Pernuvo researchers published a paper linking smoking to brain shrinkage. The research was made possible by a large sample size of Pernuvo scans and the use of AI to help sift through the data. We're working on AI models that help deliver insights to you about how the way you're living your life is impacting the physiology of your body. These scans cost about $2,500, and insurance doesn't usually cover elective MRIs, and here's where it gets controversial. None of the major medical organizations recommend elective scans, and the American College of Radiologists says there's no evidence that they prolong life. The harms likely outweigh the benefits. Dr. Matthew Davenport is a University of Michigan radiologist who has published research on elective body scans. Most of what you end up detecting are false positives that create a lot of uncertainty. That uncertainty leads to biopsies, interventions, surgeries, and all the complications that come from that, but don't actually provide a value back to you in terms of your health. Dr. Davenport argues that these procedures, if paid for by insurance, raise premiums for others. If we're doing this indiscriminately in relatively low risk patients, and literally the the only group that's saying we should do it has a for-profit, strong conflict of interest promoting the test. We should be skeptical about that. So you can see there's some degenerative change here. In my case, the scan did find something that I didn't know I had. You got a small hernia here. It's called inguinal hernia. Interesting. I have a hernia right now. It's also hard to describe seeing your own body from such a deep perspective. So in this hernia, is it at a point right now where I don't need to go into surgery and I can kind of just live with it for a while? It depends on symptoms, yeah. right? If your symptoms are sort of now daily symptoms, they're stopping you from doing what you want to do, I'm probably going to recommend that you go have a chat with a general surgeon. But what I was really worried about was the possibility of something worse maybe lurking in my brain. About 10 years ago, I inexplicably blacked out while on a flight and have always feared there might be something seriously wrong. But for me, this scan gave me a peace of mind. Completely normal, nothing to worry about. Unremarkable. Unremarkable. I love it. And for others, the scans have been potentially life-saving, like Dr. Vikash Modi himself. I volunteered to be sort of a test patient for one of our new machines. That scan found an abnormality in Dr. Modi's bone marrow, which led to a biopsy. The bone marrow biopsy confirmed that I have chronic myeloid lymphoid neoplasm, which is a very long term for a type of blood cancer. Extremely rare. Within another couple of years, I would have developed severe symptoms. But because the condition was detected so early? This is now a manageable condition. And despite the controversy over other findings that ended up being benign, a recent study of 1,000 asymptomatic patients by Pernuvo found cancers in more than 20 of them. Do you think this is saving lives? We know it is. And what's better than saving lives is changing lives. New empowerment, new information, the ability to act, to be proactive, and that is an invaluable opportunity for patients. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.